Before I forget, I'd like to say Happy New Year to everyone. <laughs> I'm learning how to speak like this. Usually accountants don't say too much, they just get bills. <laughs> First thing, and I need to start in this way because Zeph and I have uh, taken a lot of slack. If you guys thought and didn't trust that Donald Trump was not going to bring everybody together, <laughs> this is proof. I'll tell you that. <laughs> that you will bring everybody together. Come on, come on, come on. We got your next one, huh? Yeah, thanks. That's what you brought me up. I got you. <laughs> Just so you can all believe, when there is a worthy cause, everybody supports it, regardless of what political affiliation what race, what religion, they all support him. And there is no better one than Mark Jonah. Yes, sir. I don't want to spend too much time up here because there are others who can uh, speak much better. But he is a person that we all trust, believe in the hard work, in his vision, and we're very proud of him. He has done everything he can for the community he serves in the Bronx, as well as our community. We're really proud of him, and we hope we'll be proud of him for years to come. At this time, I'd like to introduce Senator Latimer. Tonight, we're here on behalf of Mark, and we're very fortunate uh, to have a, someone who's in government. I serve with him now in the state legislature, but a person who comes with a business background and a business understanding of what it takes to accomplish things, because it's not enough to talk. Sometimes in Albany and Washington, there's a lot of talk, but when you're in a city government, a city the size of New York or the size of the city that's being run so brilliantly by the person I'm here to introduce, you're in the real world, in the real world of trying to accomplish things to get developments off the ground, to see business prosper, to see people prosper, to see jobs and economic growth. And Mark is going to talk about his vision for the city of New York, that little community just down the road a place from where we are here in East Chester. But I'm honored to introduce a person who has taken those principles and applied it in the city of Yonkers, which is no small feat. Yonkers is the fourth largest city in this state. And it's a city that's got all of the positives and the negatives that you would expect to find. A beautiful waterfront, it's got economic growth, it's got some neighborhoods that are to die for. But it's got problems. And every day the people of Yonkers expect to see the garbage picked up. Every day they expect to see firefighters there to respond. They expect to see police on the beat. It's not easy to manage that. Now I sat with this man side by side in our county legislature and I sat with him side by side in the state assembly together. And other than the fact that he's an Islander fan and I'm a New York Ranger fan, <laughs> I had nothing but respect for the positions that he took on issues. And for many years, he was a Republican. And he showed that regardless of political party, you can achieve something. So I think the, the future of Mark Joni in New York has already been laid out by the great mayor of the city of Yonkers, our next speaker, the Honorable Mike Spano. Mike. Let me start off by saying thank you to Senator George Latimer. You know, Senator Latimer is probably, and I'm not kidding you, uh, probably the hardest working uh, member of the legislature. He really is. He is somebody that will, and, well, one of the things they used to do all the time was drive home every day from Albany back to Westchester, which, by the way, I never did. But he used to do it every single day. But he's somebody who's takes his job very serious, somebody who is committed to his constituents, and, uh, and a good friend, somebody that uh, I know Mark and I 
I can both say that we learned, learned a lot from him. So, because he is older than we are. So, <laughs> send it a lot. Thank you. <laughs> uh, I, I, I just want to welcome all of you to Westchester. And, uh, and for those who, I know many of you still I mean, are living here, um, but uh, to come up here and to pay uh, homage to a, just a great, great leader. You know, Mark is really moving up the ladder very quickly. Uh, he's clearly a rising star in New York State politics. And uh, he's somebody who, uh, you know, when you look at his time just in the assembly, I mean, it takes years to move up that seniority ladder. And he is already chair of the subcommittee on micro businesses. Uh, he is on the powerful banks committee. I know you like that. But he is, has a seat on the banks committee, and uh, and obviously on taxation as well. But he and, and some others. But to get a seat like that means that the leadership recognizes you as somebody who is a leader. They recognize you as somebody who is a mover and a shaker. But they also recognize you as somebody uh, who's going places. And so uh, I'm very very excited to know that I can hitch myself to the star of Mark Jonai because. He's the first elected Albanian in the New York State Legislature. Congratulations. <laughs> He's been involved in, in, in really in, in, some, uh, in, in doing some of the legislative work that has been landmark for us here in New York State. But he truly has been, like I said, one of the finest examples of, of an elected official that you could see. And uh, somebody that, no matter what, if I call him, uh, he could be on the floor of the assembly. You know, he'll 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 take your call. He always has time for you. He's always willing to be helpful. Uh, and like I said, and, and on top of all that, he's just somebody who's just fantastic at his job. And uh, we kind of developed our friendship before politics, and uh, and and I'm very very glad that we still have this friendship. And and I and I value it. I really do. And so, without any further ado. I'd like to call up the man of the hour, our honored guest here tonight. You're all up here in Westchester. Uh, you're, you're, you're donating to a great cause, to a rising star in New York politics. Not just New York City, New York State politics. Somebody that will continue to be a force to be reckoned with, and somebody that we all consider to be a near and dear friend. Say to someone that Mark Jonah. Mike Spano. I think you don't, I don't have a microphone. You can all hear me, uh, right? Uh, right. Yeah. Yeah. Two hands? No. <laughs> I do. We're part of time. We speak with both hands. <laughs> thank you for that wonderful introduction, Mayor. Senator, thank you for being here and being so supportive and being a friend. To all of my countrymen and my friends, thank you. Your support and your friendship and your generosity will never be forgotten. <clears throat> to our hosts from our hard work, you know, we have to recognize that this group didn't have an easy task. We just got over the holidays. We're talking about Christmas and uh, New Year's um, and asking people to come out after holiday spending and forget about the debt and the credit card debt that they've accumulated to uh, make a donation, a contribution to me means a lot. But let's start with Zeph, the owner of Chow's. Let's give a round of applause. tonight, my dear friend and our countryman, Tony Davalani. Yeah. He stood 
sit behind me so you didn't see him in Antung Raya. <laughs> <laughs> Before, a lot of thought went into this. And I said, how can I get my community to come together and be supportive that you've been supportive for the last five years? And I figured the best way to do this is to gather all of the golfers. Do you have any golfers here tonight? <laughs> no, no, no golfers. No. So I told them that we're going to get together and we're going to talk about golf. And then afterwards, I told them it's also a fundraiser. <laughs> but it was too late they had committed. So for you hockey fans, you either have soccer fans here or you have golf enthusiasts, but nobody follows hockey. <laughs> <laughs> I am truly fortunate, and it's overwhelming and humbling to have so many of you come out constantly and be so generous. But it's, it's very difficult to thank those that write checks when they do so without even asking. It means so much that when you ask someone for a contribution that they give you one. But it means so much more than those that come up to you saying, I know you need this. We've embarked on a road five years ago, three elections later, in the State Assembly. We've done a tremendous amount of work in the state and made some great friends. And whether it be in the Assembly or the State Senate or working with the governor who's, who uh, has made our life very difficult lately, <laughs> we are constantly focused on improving the life of all New Yorkers. Now that comes with a big responsibility. Because I had no idea that I would only not be responsible for the 126,000 residents in my uh, district, in my constituents. But every Albanian that exists out there, <laughs> from the needs of visa applications and social security numbers, is overwhelming. And I wish I could issue everyone a social security number and a visa to visit this country. But definitely, um, it is above my pay grade. Uh, we've been working Let's very get hard. There, there you go. Well, <laughs> there's a way to do that also, yeah. but we've got time. It's overwhelming, our needs as a community. This community has done so much, it's achieved so much in such a short period of time. You've truly made your mark. And this goes beyond the professions and the industries that we're known to have excelled in. You go way beyond restaurateurs, way beyond landlords, way beyond contractors. We have attorneys, doctors, educators, that are truly making a mark in this country and the world. The hard, enthusiastic community, the Albanian community, which came to this country for that American dream, just looking to work hard and provide for their family. And many of the people in this room today arrived many decades ago. I was fortunate to be born in this great country. Many of the people in this room were not. But here's what I realized. The immigrants of 40 years ago and the immigrants of today are the same. There is no difference. They all seek for a better life. They all seek for a better opportunities for their children. We live in the greatest country in the world, which allows us to work hard and thrive and provide. But what makes our community so unique is we never forgot where we came from. So as we've made sacrifices here to raise our families and settle and build a foundation, we've also been able to provide to our homelands. And we never forgot whether it be Montenegro, Albania, Kosovo, Chemnia, or uh, Kosovo, I said, uh, Macedonia. We never forgot that we have a moral obligation to our brothers and sisters back home. Because it's quite easy that we could be there and they could have been here. It's by sheer luck that we are here today. And I often wonder, had we been back home and we had our countrymen in this great country, what is it that we would have asked of them? And that's our debt to our homelands. 
that we provide every opportunity and give them a voice, that we stand as an opposition when their rights are being violated, when their government and their leaders are not working in the best interest of the people, the country, or the national cause. We have a lot to do, and there are many people in this room who have been sacrificing for decades for the betterment of not only this country, but also back home. Our fight continues. It'll be one that will gladly fight, knowing that we'll make a difference here and in our homelands and our motherland. I thank you from the bottom of my heart for your friendship, your support, and I make a promise to you, I will never take it lightly because your investment in me is an investment that I hold true and near to my heart and a debt that I will never abuse you, the support that you've given me, take for granted what you've done for me, and I will make sure that when the day comes, I pass on that torch to the next generation so they can carry it further. <clears throat> We need more women involved in politics. We need more involvement in local politics. What we've done at the federal level, because of our issues back home, was worth it. But we need someone that's going to fight here. And whether you stay on the left side of the aisle or the right side of the aisle, Albanians have one difference from everyone else. We don't care about parties. Whether you're a Republican or Democrat, whether you're a liberal or conservative, we believe in individuals. We're loyal. The mayor knows how loyal we are as a community. He knows we've never forgotten him. He has fought for us in Yonkers. He recognizes what we've done in the state and in the city. And for that, we'll always be grateful to you, Mayor Mike Spano. Thank you. colleague in the Senate, George Latimer, who I work with and we pass and debate bills, understands your needs or his concerns as well. He hasn't forgotten who you are and how much you've done for this county, nor has he forgotten how much you pay in real estate taxes. <laughs> nor has he forgotten how expensive it is to live in this county or this state. And he fights to make sure that all New Yorkers can live comfortably and improve the quality of life that they have here. So as we continue down this path together, and I look toward coming down to the city, because here's what I've realized, as many of you have, it's always about the potholes and the street lights. It's about the safety and it's about the graffiti. It's about the water and sewer charges and the real estate taxes. And in the city, I'll be empowered I'll have a bigger pulpit to scream from. I'll have a larger platform. And I promise never to let you down or your support. So I wish you all a happy, healthy, safe New Year. Grateful to you for all that you've done for me. And continue and pledge to always put your interests first in and all of New Yorkers. God bless you. that know how to raise money. We thank you all for your generous support. And as he's just been explaining, your efforts will not go unnoticed and they are going to the right place. We thank you for what you've done till now and we thank you for what you're about to do. We are very proud of you. The only difference is Republicans know how to make it. 
Democrats know how to spend it because it's not there. Don't say no more. Don't say no more.